The principle of explosion is a law of symbolic logic which states that given a contradiction, anything can be proven true. This is what it looks like, but before I explain it, I need you to take a moment and reach inwards into your deepest self, and retrieve a desire. Something you want, or have always wanted. Because very soon you will have the opportunity to make it true. Let's get started. Formal logic is used to create a representation of the world. Like this. My dog is fast. And. My dog comes when I call him. This is a proposition expressed in symbolic logic. For the principle of explosion, you need a proposition that expresses a contradiction. Luckily, the world is rife with contradictions. Now all we have to do is pick one. Now to put the principle of explosion to use, let us use a strong contradiction, such as the phrase, this sentence is false. This is an elegant contradiction because if the phrase is true, then the sentence itself declares that it is false contradicting itself. But, if we believe that the phrase is false, then it tells us correctly that it is false, and thus becomes true. Landing us where we started, and leaving us with a contradiction. Now, the principle of explosion states that given a contradiction, anything can be proven true. This means that anything, truly anything, expressible in symbolic notation, can be made true, regardless of its impossibility. Do you remember when I asked you to think of your deepest desire? Let us call that desire, X. Now, here is the crux of the equation, if T, is the first part of our earlier contradiction, and X is our deepest desire. Can we say, either T or X is true? Symbolic logic tells us, yes, we can. The, or, in T or X, means that only one side of the equation must be true, for the entire equation to be true. It does not matter what X is, as long as its alternative is true. Put simply, we know that the equation T or X is true, because we know that T is true. From our earlier contradiction. But wait, we also know that T is false from our earlier contradiction. And if T is false then, X, must be true, because of the statement, either T is true or X is true. In other words, if T is false, then we have no other option but for X to be true. And there you have it, whatever it is you wanted, no matter how extravagant, is yours, because we have proven it true with the principle of explosion. Thank you for listening.